this video, I'm going to show you how my DLP removal device encryption works. USB drives or flash drives are easy to carry, but handling sensitive data through USB drives is always a risk. If you are part of a large organization, then losing sensitive data may have severe consequences. Without my DLP protection, anyone can access and copy files, including malware, virus, or another harmful software from USB to your organization. As you see, any USB drive is accessible without MyDLP encryption. Let's look at how to protect your organization. Connect the MyDLP UI with your Spiritman users and go to Policy tab. Click the Add Rule button and click the plus button to add new rules. Select Removal Storage Encryption rule. Enter the script name for your rule. Then click Save. Only the source column is available for Rimble device encryption rule. You can activate the encryption rule for all computers in your organization by selecting All Sources under Predefined section. Or you can create a custom user to apply this rule. There are two options are available single user and active director object. In this case, I will apply this policy rule only for my computer. Let's check my username first. It's John. Under Endpoints tab, my logon username is listed. I will create a new source based on this log on username. You can also use domain users as a source if my DLP Active Directory integration is previously done, or you can create specific IP as a source from user defined section. Then click to save. Then change your action type from pass to encrypt by clicking on it. Then install your policy. Latest policy will be enforced on endpoints within the 5 minutes. You can easily check it from endpoint step. Click the refresh button to see whether endpoint is synchronized and the latest policy update on endpoints. My policy is updated on endpoint as you see. Let's restart my computer to make change active. Reboot is only required for Rimble device encryption rule. You don't need to reboot client to apply other type of rules. My DLP encryption rule enables users to encrypt a storage device such as USB or flash drive. No data on an encrypted USB can be read outside the organization. When you set up My DLP encryption rule from My DLP UI, after the next reboot, a small icon will be added to your system tray. Double click it and you will get to the My DLP encryption security dialog. 
Please wait until the running message displayed. After you see running message, you can safely plug in your USB device. Now let's plug in an unencrypted USB drive for the system to recognize it. The panel interface allows you to encrypt the USB drive. You will get three format options to encrypt your removal device. Choose one of them, then click OK. Now my USB device is encrypted with my DLP and will be unusable if I plug it to a device outside of the organization or on another computer in your organization where my DLP encryption rule is not active. With encrypted USB device you can carry your programs and the data safely and no one copy any harmful file from USB device to your computer and your organization.